folks. Since I'm um, off to my Rouge video vlog, and I've had some goodies come. Um, in the week, I'm cleaning my skimmer out on my reef tank, and I've popped the cleaning cup off, and um, it broke, basically. Um, a bit of the rim came off and stuck on the circle of the actual rim. Uh, I managed to put the top collection cup back on, however, it squirting water out, so I thought, right, so I've been doing my heading for a bit, I got it free with the tank or with the tank. Uh, it's only a cheap one anyway. Um, so I thought, <coughs> went on eBay and I did a search to try and get another, another one. So, and got this. Um, anyone that's seen other videos, I've got a red starfish. It's called red starfish, and the Chinese, Chinese brand. Um, I've got a auto top off, but it's made of acrylic, and it's really good, the really good stuff, and really competitively priced. Uh, it's just a shame that I need to buy this stuff in from China, because obviously they're mass producer, but I can't fault them for what they do. To be fair, um, you know they sell really, really good stuff. Um, they've got really good stuff, really competitive prices. And while I was there, I also got this um, filter sock. Now, it was only four ninety nine. And to my surprise, I come with a filter sock as well, a mesh one. Four pound ninety five. You can't beat that one. Four six ninety five. Something like that. You can't beat that, can you? Look at that. The quality on that. So that's it. And then also a skimmer. Red Starfish skimmer. And this is the. RSC1. You're seeing if I just noticed you're seeing them trim backwards because I've got it on me, so uh, I'm selfie mode, so I can see what I'm doing. Anyway, bear with me. You got to see it back to front. But let's see that I can see it. So we'll pop this out. I'm not really unboxing, but I'll show you what's what we've got to. Really well packaged, really well branded as well. And this is the RSC ones, this is up to I think 200 or 400 litres, something like that. Tank £89.99, and there was a tenner delivery, something like that. I mean, so far, looks great. Um, it's a DC pump as well. Instructions. Pretty good for f to be fair to say it's uh, obviously a Chinese product, all properly in English. Um, very good so far. Drain tube. Oh, controller. DC pump controller so you can change the settings. It's got a three minute delay as well. Don't know what the three minute delay is. Um, oh, well, you press the button and you can put a three minute so it pours it in three minutes. And then there's a feed mode so you can press it and it. Stops off for 10 minutes for feed mode. That's good, isn't it? Brilliant. Skimmer 1500 pump controller. That's that. Um, what's this? Oh, wow. Proper AC DC power pack. Not surprisingly. 
UK lead. This is obviously the um, uh, goes on the side like a silencer where the air comes in. The air intake silencer looks like. Um, Connection clip. Wow, this is really good. Feels really good quality. This does. Really good size collection clip for a smallest model as well. And uh, that's that. Really does feel like good quality. Really, really solid. Really well packaged. Solid quality. I thought it'd be really cheap and nasty. It really is a good solid. Feels solid. Looks nice, doesn't it? What's the There's an optimal level. Optimal level there. And there's the pump. Some protection in there. So I've got to strip this out. Um, We can with a min and a max from one to four. Obviously, we'll go on here. Um, I'm not quite sure how this all goes yet, and how you dial this in. I'm not really sure about that yet, but. C1 Obviously that will go in there like that. So I'd control the speed. That's quite a lot for eighty nine pound ninety nine, isn't it for a clock for a skimmer like that? DC as well, DC pump, so looks really easy to clean. Just pop straight off, a lot easier than the old one. That obviously will go on there. Like that. And that's the drain if you want to drain it. We'll keep a drain on, but I don't I don't really do that because I like to wash them out every week, clean them with that. You could put that to a drain line and let it drain out all the time, but chances are you're going to get green, you know, ammonia and stuff, oils caught in. It's best to clean them. So I won't do that. Right, and then I've got to take these off. Take these off, and the base plate comes off. And the pump will obviously just pull out. And then I'm going to put it back together and have a play with it. Um, and obviously that will give me a good opportunity to get familiar with it, put it all together. 
and then I'll set it up and then I will conclude this unboxing sharing what I've just bought with you guys with it on the tank and working and hopefully I can get it dialed in so that's been it interested wait for the next part Ooh, good evening everyone uh, skimmers in I've rejiggled everything round socks in there look great that is it's, cool. it's bigger than I thought though but I've managed to get it in um, so that's now what it looks like pumps there it's only on two uh, this pump is only 12 watt it's a 12 watt DC and it's absolutely flying straight out you know straight out of the box type of thing put it together and I would say it's not any breaking or anything I don't think but I'll leave it I've got the rear tap I can't see it but it's on number two um, the drain pipe I've just cut down it's a little adapter I won't use that so pumps on two and the inlets on two and it's skimming away modification looks a lot neater a lot quieter as well really happy with that red starfish stuff so I started with this viewing it's a floating dish and also magnify so you can look down into the from the top bottom but I also hold it on the side of my tank as well I'm oh, sorry I've got the light on enter on the actual camera I don't normally do that oh that's better so I just hold that there I just normally sit here sometimes and just look through everything not really good just add some clarity that's without that's with so that's that and that was only five pound and I got the auto top off at the same time as that. And now the sock holder micron mesh but with it as well and the skimmer. Really happy with that range, if I'm honest with you. I hope that's been useful. We're going to have a nice cup of tea now. Pop them in there for a bit. There was a bit of a jiggle round with the cables and everything. But uh, sorted now. Everything's back up and running. So I'm going to put it on, I'll leave it on red. The light automatically comes on through one of these links. Yeah, that's it. That's the reef up and going again. Piercing pump. I use, um, for anyone that's interested, I use Quantum. Quantum range. I will do a uh, Called uh, Quantum. Let me see if I can give you an idea of what it is. So I use the uh, Quantum ABC uh, Bio Enhance and the Bio Metals range as well, and also the uh, Bio Calium. is but I might do another video on them one day so uh, that's it it's a reef in one I'll do a review of the tank soon any one of questions please put them down please subscribe please like cheers so another product has come through the post I've um, Look some videos of an art on the internet at this skimmer that I've got, and I seen this stand. Someone was um, said they got this stand. They didn't show it the stand on the video. They just said it was a 
um, skimmer bracket and he just you know so I searched it searched eBay and stuff like that found one in the UK £14.99 there's the box great product box again like normal um, and it's the RS TS16 but I think this would do for any uh, obviously any skimmer and stand I just put a it's in my skimmer's working at the moment and it's just got a, like a tray underneath the plastic one but if you look at this, look at the quality on this. Again, it just looks great. Minimalistic, but really solid. Just like the skimmer. And the best thing is you just slacken these off. And they've just got these little cutouts. So you can have the uh, height adjustment. So you can get the skimmer absolutely bob on. Awesome. They're awesome with that. So I'm going to turn my system off or my skimmer off, put this back in. Um, I've been messing about a bit this week, getting it broken and stuff. It has been producing some skim, mate. Um, I've been getting used to the pump control and the pump and how it sort of, you know, how that sort of uh, reacts with the actual skimmer itself. So that's been taking some getting used to. It was one of the nights, Thursday night I think it was, and um, I put the pump on three and it was okay, but come next morning the skimmer was full of water and it was spitting everywhere a little bit, so I had to clean out the uh, some of these surfaces where it sort of bubbles had splashed a bit, so I weren't happy about that, however, you live and learn. Turned it down, so I'm producing a, a dry skim at the moment, so I'm going to shut it all off, give it a clean out, you know, take it out of the skimmer box, put this in, and I'm able to find the exact height I need with this skimmer. Now the good thing with this skimmer, on the actual tube at the back, there's a sticker that tells you the ideal height of the water level. So with this, I'll be able to get it absolutely spot on, because before, at the minute, I'm probably about half an inch low. And that might be why I'm just getting this, you know, I'm just struggling to get it the height adjusted right in the, in the actual chamber, the water and the skimmer working right. So I'm going to take this out, put this in, get rid of the box, the plastic tray thing that I put in, and have this in there and it'll look really nice and minimalistic. Water can flow underneath. Very great. Another great product by Red Starfish. I refers to conclude this um, vlog, if you like, of my reefing um, encounters and uh, what I'm doing. Um, things are going really well, and this is really to conclude the um, skimmer video that I'm uh, that I've done. Um, so here's the skimmer. I think it's been a month now since I, um, you know, you'll see this video all in one but it's been over a period of a month and as you can see I've been more than happy with this skimmer I've got to say um, I've got it dialed in now where I like it I don't like to mess about and um, be emptying it all the time so I like to try and get a drier skim um, and for me um, it's, the pumps on um, two Pumps on setting two. Any higher, I find it's too much, and you get more of a whirring, you know, like a drumming sound. Um, we're my fuge, well, not my fuge, but I've got a um, what I call an algae scrubber, a piece of white mesh there, knitting mesh, and it collects algae. Look, does really well actually. So that's that. I might get rid of that because my nutrients are um, really low, one ppm and point zero six three to six <coughs> phosphates. And I'm actually dosing phosphates. I'm actually dosing phosphates, phosphorus, fluorous phosphorus, because it just keeps being, um, you know, it just keeps being chewed up. So, so yeah, things are going really good. There you go. I clean this out once a week. I've got a real nice, dry, dirty, horrible skin there. There's no real, you know, look at that. There's no real manky smell. I quite like the smell of it, to be fair, but look at that going. So I'm really, really more than happy with this um, red starfish skimmer. Um, it took 
not a lot to set up at all. Um, I think I've got it on about two at the back. It's just a tube that opens up the water flow here. So that tube, um, it's not got a twisty job that you dial right in or out, it just basically is cut off at the bottom, so it just lets more water in or less water in. The great thing about this product, as I say as well, is there is a water line mark. So you know like before you go, oh yeah, it needs to be there, there and there. Well you just get your water line to there, and then you should be about there, that bit's done, you don't got to worry about that then. So what we then got to do is um, start off with your pump on low, that's all I did. And then started off with that more or less, you know, where it weren't overflowing there. So I take the cup off, and then, so it's skimming here, basically. So without that on, I get it skimming, bubbling ever just here, and then that produces me a dry skim. Whereas if it's more powerful in here with the pump and everything and water flowing through it, you'll find that the pressure coming up is greater. So you'll find that the skim will be more, but it'll be wetter. So anyway, that's how I like it, that's how I've set it up. Um, so we'll just conclude Red Starfish. I've got to say, I'm over the moon with it. It's a lot quieter than me um, AC pump. If I just be quiet for a minute, that's my tank. If I'm to close the doors, That's what I'm hearing. So that's the tank. So let's just have a quick run through. My bloody has died. Pincushion urchin. It's lasted about two, three months and it's just gradually deteriorated. The spiny urchin did. I went to an LFS actually and he had a lovely uh, spiny urchin and he's had it for about three years, he said. And he said he feeds it peas. So he thaws a pea out and gives it a pea, a green pea. <laughs> So I said I might start, you know, uh, try one again. And and this fella, it was okay, but this morning I've noticed it like that, and it was standing, you know, normal. And I've lifted it up, and his body's just dropped out, and I've just shook it, and all the pieces have come out. Fish have had a bit of a feast, and uh, yeah, and the new clam. I had a clam, Duraza clam, and it coincided with me having low DKH. I think at 6.9 I had a bit of a crash if you like and I think that affected that and that killed it even though my SPS are absolutely and acros are completely exploding if I'm honest with you you know they are really really going for it look at that look at that one that's really encrusting there uh, this one this Monty has just look at that gone in the last month. It just really have took off. That's had a half inch of growth on it. This one here at the front lot, this Monty, and all the branches started to branch at the bottom. This one is encrusted now, so hopefully it will start splitting. This lime Acropora, I think it's lime berry. That one is absolutely gorgeous, and that one's starting to um, split off now, and the. Montipora Hasuta, that has like really gone for it. And that little thing there, if you're looking at my videos, that was only about half an inch, and look at that go. Loads of growth on that, and this red Montipora Capricornis, I think it's called, look at that, that's really gone for it as well. And that's my new one there, I've had that about a month, and that's really, I reckon if that was, I reckon that's probably put in, put on three, four mil on. And then since I moved my uh, Zoa garden from here to here, it's absolutely just within a day, the heads of the Acropor, uh, sorry, the uh, Zoas have just doubled, tripled in size. Look at them. They're reaching for the light a bit there because it's right at the back corner. It's obviously stood up. But look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. This Monte. Uh, Satoza is now starting to branch. Um, this lime berry is now branching. And everything's just really doing well. Uh, I've got a new fish and I'm going to put a new one in as well. Upstairs in the QT. Where is it? My new fish. It's a green mandarin. 
And here's my red, dragging it, doing really well. I've had that uh, about a year now. And there is a green mandarin here that's doing okay so far. There it is. Wait. There, look. Did you just see it pop out? And there, look, right on the back. There he is. It's a male. Absolutely gorgeous thing. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. And it just flutters these fins just all the time. All right, wings. An absolute intriguing, gorgeous creature. Unfortunately, many succumb to home tanks and they need, need live food or being used to um, frozen mice, copepods. Uh, I asked the um, my LFS, I got it off, and they said they've had it for they had it for about a month, and it's feeding feeding on. Um, frozen copepods however I've got some um, fresh copepods live copepods and some phytoplankton and stuff that I mix it with and I put it in oh, I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> excuse me I've just noticed something as well <laughs> my, my uh, stand is in shame sorry about that so yeah sad that the urchin's gone despite me putting Seaweed in there, nori for it. The angel fish I've got is doing absolutely amazing. I love that fish. Look, look at the colours. So it's strange. The rock flowers are doing fantastic. Everything's doing fantastic, really. The only thing that um, I've struggled with are the like not invertebrates. Well, I suppose yeah, invertebrate is the urchins never seem to be sustainable for me uh, it might be because my tank's too clean my one upstairs in my little evo 13.5 doing okay and then um yeah the clam has died after a month and then the starfish that i got at the same time that died within 24 hours so it must have been my dkh but fortunately i've got it steadied now i slowly raised it to about nine I've increased my um, alkalinity, so you know, hopefully, it's like more stable now. This conch snail, let me show you, they're absolute carbs. Come on, focus. Look at them <laughs> the trunk and the eyes. Absolutely love looking at that little guy. Um, it just dives into the sand at night and then sometimes in the day don't come out it was there last night look where this um there is like um a divot in the sand can you see it it was there and then so it was there the other day and i thought oh god he's died and i could just see his eyeballs on stalks just sticking out of the sand and then his trunk just come out and i'm feeding and didn't even bother coming out he must be having a bad day you know what i mean not thinking uh, balls to it i'm not going out today i'm just going to stick me stick my trunk out get some grub and uh crack on but yeah things are doing really great things now with this tank the um the acropora there the strawberry shortcake as you can see is colored up now um and i'm getting uh i ought to get my lens on this at some point i've got a new um Zoa at the back there, look, the pink is called Pink Diamond. A cracker that one is. I've got uh, another Zoa here. Something you can't really see it at the moment because it's um it's the one uh, there is called that's pyrograph or something like that. Pyrograph, something like that. So yeah, I've not got my lens on. I've rammed on, rambled on for too long. This is just to end my skimmer video. So anyone interested, if you have any questions, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please hit the notification bell. And uh, hopefully, if I get some interest, I um, 
I should do more with my tank, but it's more Cully and stuff like that. Because um, Cully, for some reason, it seems to get a lot of interest and a lot of comments and people interacting. Um, maybe it's because I've not focused on these things yet, the other things, part of my um, hobbies. But, um, yeah, there we have it. That concludes me reefing video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit long, but... Um, just to conclude, I've got a um, Friendly Koi Keepers Facebook group and there's over 14,000 members on there. I created Friendly Reef Keepers, so any Reef Keepers out there, please join it. Let's grow the numbers, there's only about 112 people on there at the minute. Um, I'm not focused on it much, but please get on there, let's grow it and uh, it might be as uh, successful as Friendly uh, Koi Keepers and uh, grow a great community community thanks for watching um oh one more thing i'm getting i've got a ras upstairs and the ras is coming in in here today and it's a uh oh is it oh, i can't remember the green one. Oh, come on keith not emerald ras something like that i can't remember anyway that's coming in today that's upstairs in my 13.5 i've been monitoring it it's been doing great have a great week bye